this is a problem. Welcome to another Vlogmas vlog. Okay, I can't say that every time. Welcome to another Vlogmas video. I don't know. Anywho, <laughs> hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sega Mizgina. If you are chilling at home and it's rainy and gloomy and it's dark already at like 3.45 in the afternoon, then you're gonna love this video because we're gonna make chocolate chip cookies. I haven't made chocolate chip cookies from scratch like ever, um, but we're gonna do that today. I watched a ton of YouTube videos, so I feel like I'm an expert at this point. Duh. Anywho, I made my notes. That sticky note right over there is going to produce beautiful cookies. Imagine that. I am going to get the ingredients prepped, but before we do that, I have to give a major shout out to the following people right over here. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. If you want to shout out like them, all you have to do is click the notification bell, let me know you're a new subscriber in the comment section down below, and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's video. It's that easy. I'm going to be doing shout outs every single day during Vlogmas. So yesterday I did shout outs, today I'm doing shout outs, tomorrow I'm going to be doing shout outs until Christmas Day. I don't know why I'm running out of breath, but anyway, I am. Maybe I need to drink some water. Anyway, if you guys didn't catch yesterday's video, make sure you guys go check that out. I'll link it right over here and in the description box below. But today we are in the kitchen. We're gonna bake some cookies. So let's get started. Oh my God. I don't think we have enough flour to make the cookies. I need three cups of flour. Ooh, I don't know if I have three cups. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do because I really, the goal was to not go outside. It's rainy, it's cold, it's wet, and I'm not trying to go outside. So we're gonna see if this makes three cups of flour because that's what we need for this recipe. Ooh. I think we should have enough. We should, we should. So there's one cup. Two cups. Oh, okay, good, we're good. Oh, thank God. I thought I, was have, I, thought I had to go outside. I did not want to do that. Ooh, wee. Okay, this third cup is a bit of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie though. Okay, so that's three cups of flour. Cool. I'm gonna put this flour off to the side because I didn't want to start with the dry ingredients, so I was panicking a little bit, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. And we're gonna get started on the wet ingredients first. Oh, my God. Okay, so although this might look like eggs, it's one cup of butter. So if you guys are gonna be trying this recipe at home, I would definitely suggest having the butter at room temperature. I just got a little impatient, so I melted it a little bit, like indirectly, with a bowl. So I took this bowl, filled it up with um, hot water, like halfway, and then I put my mixing bowl up top, because this can't obviously go inside the microwave. And I didn't want the butter to be piping hot either, so that's why it looks like this. But to the butter, so we have one cup of butter, and I'm gonna add one cup of white sugar. Okay, so we have one cup of white sugar, and I'm also gonna be adding one cup of brown sugar. So my brown sugar here, I'm just gonna add a cup. I love brown sugar. I don't know what it is, like the smell of it and everything. It smells so good. So I'm gonna add one cup of brown sugar, boom and we're ready to go. 
So I'm just gonna turn down the brightness a little bit on my camera. You guys already know I can't stand the lighting in my kitchen, but it's okay. We're still grateful. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this in. I'm gonna try with my hands first, and if I'm like, this is too hard for me, then I'm gonna get my mixer. But I'm just gonna incorporate that, like fold it in, mix it all together. Let me see if you guys can see a little bit overhead. Ah, there we go, I think that's a better view for you guys. Perfect. Oh, I think I'm all right, I think I'm gonna be good. I don't need the mixer. Awesome. Your girl's been working out. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, so to this, I'm gonna add two eggs and the eggs that I'm gonna be adding are in room temperature as well. So make sure you're not adding like cold eggs to the mix. Okay, just gonna toss that to the side there. And I'm gonna mix it in one at a time. So let's just mix that in. How satisfying is this? So I'm gonna add in my second egg. I'm just gonna crack it. Okay, we're good. Just gonna toss that off to the side there. Oh my God, and I'm gonna be filming my meal prep tomorrow. Cause I'll be honest guys, I'm not much of a baker. I like to cook more than baking, but I have that video lined up for you guys. So stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm gonna get my measuring spoon here. Yep, oh, I love the smell of vanilla extract. And that's two. Oh, it smells so good. It reminds me of like, I don't know, it has this like nostalgic smell to it. I don't know what it is, but I love the smell of vanilla extract. Okay, so that's all we need to do for the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and we're gonna get started on the dry ingredients. Okay, so <laughs> the beginning of the video, we already have our three cups of flour, which is great, because <laughs> we were worried there. All right, so to the flour, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, a one teaspoon of baking soda added. Just gonna grab my whisk here and make sure everything's all mixed in. And we're gonna slowly add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. So we're slowly but surely getting there. Don't mind the mess in the back. I'll have to clean it up when we're done, but I'm gonna add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and then we're gonna add in our chocolate chips. Okay, so I'm gonna slowly add the flour to our wet mixture.
So I'm just gonna add the rest of the mixture. Here we go. Move that over to the side there, and I'm just going to fold in our mixture. You gotta put in work, holy. Okay, I was getting a little worried there. I thought we put in way too much flour, but <laughs> it's looking like cookie dough now, so I am not mad at that. Oh my God, it's like God, it's like holy smokes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so we have our cookie dough but we are missing the most important ingredient, the chocolate chips. So let's add that right now. My God, guys, my arms are killing me. So if you have like, if you have a stand mixer, then I mean, more power to you, use your stand mixer, but holy, that was a lot. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add two cups of chocolate chips to the mix. I might add a little bit more than two cups. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add, oh look at that. Ooh, it already looks legit. We haven't even mixed it in. Okay. Two cups. You know what? It's the holidays, so let's let's add a little bit more. <laughs> And these ones, I'll have to discard in my mouth. <laughs> oh, all right, let's get to mixing. I could actually eat this entire bowl by itself, you know what I mean? Oh my God, it looks legit. It actually legitimately looks so good and guys if i can do this you can do this like let's be real <laughs> it's my first time making cookies from scratch ow man back in the day we used to we used to get like the pillsbury doughboy cookies or whatever like the pre the pre-mix um, but some way, somehow, I still managed to burn them, so <laughs> hopefully we don't get to burn these, but we shall see. The chocolate chip ratio to dough looks good for me because it lets me know that I'm going to have more than, like, enough chocolate chips <laughs> in each cookie. Okay, so we did it. We did it, guys. We did it. Oops, look at that. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is why I can't bake, guys. If I bake, it's a problem. So it's time for us to place our cookies in our baking tray. So if you guys caught yesterday's video, I shared that I picked up some more pieces for the holidays for Vlogmas. So I picked up this um, ice cream scooper. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out that video, it's me decorating my Christmas tree I'll link it right over here on the screen and in the description box below But um, this scooper comes in two sizes. It comes in this size and a bigger size I think this size is perfect for making your cookies. So I'm just going to scoop and I'm going to place on our baking sheet right there Perfect if you guys don't have the scooper, it's totally fine. You can always use um a, sp a regular spoon that you guys have in your kitchen. I just love, <laughs> I just got sold on the gold and how clean it looks. Oh, look at that. Boom, ah, I love it, I love it. Oh, 
oops is there we go This is a, a lot of cookies, actually. This recipe makes a lot of cookies. Holy smokes. Oh my god. I just had a taste of the cookie dough. It tastes so good. My favorite ice cream is actually cookie dough ice cream. Funny enough. Well, I don't know if it's funny, but... Mmm. Mm, so good and honestly at this point like you can get your kids to help you out or family members to help you out scooping out um, the cookies or you can actually like make it into like mini balls or something like that that would be fun for kids So I'm going to pop these in the fridge for about an hour um, because our it's because like our dough is really warm right now. We don't want to pop these in the oven like right away because I mean we want it to solidify a little bit that way it can like evenly distribute. So I'm going to pop these in the fridge for just an hour. But because we have so much mixture left over. I'm going to continue making our cookies because <laughs> we can always save them and bake them for later. So I got another baking tray, lined it up with parchment paper, and I'm just going to continue on with our cookies. There we go. So you may have noticed that this tray has a lot more cookies on it. It's because I'm going to be popping it in the fridge for about an hour. And once it turns solid, I'm going to be throwing them into Ziploc bags and baking them for another time because it's just way too much. <laughs> and we don't need all these cookies in this house, trust me. So I still have a leftover cookie dough, which is great. I'm honestly happy that we have extra because we're not going to eat it all in one sitting. I mean, if it's all baked, then yeah, we will. but. I like the idea of, you know, baking them when we want to. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That way we could either even share it with, we can also even share it for family and friends or save it for like Christmas Eve for when like Santa comes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I really love how this recipe only takes like 10 minutes in the oven. That's another thing that I really love. Like it doesn't take forever and you're left with homemade cookies that taste absolutely delicious. So. I'm actually happy I tried this for the first time. So if I can do it, you can do it. But let's, hold on, let me, I don't wanna to talk too soon because we didn't bake them yet. So I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm not a baker, I'll, I'll be honest. I am not, I don't, I don't bake. Like I don't like to bake. But if I can do at least up until right now, like this process, you guys can do it too. It takes, it literally took no time. But just make sure you have all the ingredients like flour and stuff like that. Just double check. <laughs> so as I'm waiting for the cookies to set in the fridge, I'm just going to clean up the mess behind me. <laughs> um, but I also managed to find another tray. So I just filled it up with some more cookies to add in the fridge a little later. But we finished off our entire mixture, which I'm really happy about. I mean, I can't. How many did we make? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, <gasps> We made 50 cookies on the dot. I absolutely love that. I was not expecting it, which makes me feel even more happy because if it stopped at like an odd number, or even if it stopped at an even number like 46, that wouldn't make any sense to me. But we are good. I'm just gonna clean up what's left over behind me. And we're pretty much in good shape. been waiting very patiently for these cookies in the fridge so I'm going to take them out it's been an hour now oh look at that look at these cookies oh see perfect I still think this might be a bit too much these might be a little bit too close together so I might not bake all of these so let me kind of like take some of them off and then spread them out that way they're not touching one another because this baking tray is really really small i have a super small oven guys but it'll do <laughs> so i decided to bake 10. i think i might bake them in batches but for right now 10 is more than enough more than enough okay that is my oven it just went off so i'm gonna put these in the oven now so I preheated my oven at 350 and we're going to leave them in for 10 minutes. So in the meantime, with the ones that we made, like the extra ones that we made, I'm going to pop these in the fridge. Oh my god, I just want to throw these in my mouth. Anyways, I'm going to pop these in the fridge and let these cool for an hour and then we're going to put them in the freezer like we mentioned. So I'll report back when our cookies are ready and they're cooled and we're going to taste them and we're going to have some milk. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Oh my God. There's going to be so many treats this month. But also a meal prep video is actually in the works. I just took out my chicken for tomorrow and it's actually recipes that um, are new that I've never tried but I know are super easy and that's why I really want to share them uh, with you guys so yeah because it's all about balance you know <laughs> at least that's what I'm telling myself because I mean it's the holidays it's been a rough year we deserve some sweets you know I'm not a baker that's all I gotta say I'm not a baker but again if I can do it you can do it guys we made this i mean i made it but you guys can make it too but like seriously what oh i can't mm. and we still got more this i'm going to i'm gonna put in a ziploc bag because it's dangerous i can't i can't do it anymore but look at these scrum deliumptious cookies guys oh Oh my god! Guys, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, focus on this cookie. Thing is, 
it's like crunchy inside but then ooey gooey inside wait it's crunchy i mean sorry i'm like in a trance clearly it's crunchy outside and really soft did i say inside you guys get what i'm trying to say but seriously I didn't expect it to be this good. I mean, given it's my first time making it, but this is a problem. Cause now that I know how to make it, I'm gonna be making it a lot. Well, look at how ooey gooey. Okay, this is like my yeah, I need to stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas. Uh, I want to say I enjoyed it, but at the same time, I know my waistline isn't. And my clothes that I'm trying to fit in this week um, are not going to be happy either. But <sighs> okay. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, this is the perfect thing to make with you know your family if you guys are at home like me we're on lockdown right up until christmas really um until december 21st so have some fun in the kitchen bake some treats bake some cookies for santa if that's like your thing <laughs> but I t i'm telling you guys from baking pillsbury doughboy like cookies from the fridge to making it from scratch and it not burning, I'm very proud of myself. And you guys will be proud of yourselves too, so give this a try. I'll leave all the ingredients in the description box below. Trust me, I won't forget. Just make sure, like I have my, po my post-it note right there to remind me, but make sure you guys give this a try. Let me know if you guys want to see other Vlogmas videos in the comment section down below. I'd love to record them for you guys. Ooh, and remember, shout outs. So if you're new, make sure to let me know and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's video. I love you guys. Bye.